Hey everybody, welcome to Three Way Podcast. Lister 101, Los, Public 59. You can find us on Twitter. Public Enemy. Oh, Public Enemy 59. Please. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get that correct. Uh, Public 59, I know that guy, he's a douche. I'm Public Enemy 59. Okay, okay, okay. Well, anyways, let's just get into it because we ain't got no time for this shit. Let's go ahead and start off with pop culture. I pop. Get... That, 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 that was it? I That's thought, it. I was expecting more. Oh. Okay, well, let's just hop into it. So, the big news over this week has been Thanos. It's like, it's uh, Aladdin uh, with the blue genie of Bruce. Was it Bruce? I was going to say Bruce Willis. It's Will Smith. Uh, it looked weird as fuck. It really did. So, look weird hold on. As fuck. In the first, like, Sneak peeks into the movie. He wasn't colored, right? No, he wasn't colored. So people bitched about him not (laughs) being colored. Because I remember that. I remember, well, it's supposed to be blue, just like the animated. So now they animated him and made him fucking blue. And people are bitching about that. Because people like to bitch. I don't fucking get it. What do you want? People like to bitch. I personally, I either way, I thought it was he was gonna suck as a genie. I don't think. I mean, I know, I'm not saying he's a bad actor or whatever. I'm just saying that role, specifically that role, I just don't envision him. Who as would a you genie. want as a blue genie? Like, man, who? I say we revive. <laughs> Use. Put, fuck building a wall. Robin Let's Williams. put that money into reviving Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. Yes. I, uh, hey, yes. you know what? I would then, vote. I'll then, vote for that. And then we, we you know, we revive do, Robin Williams. And then we do the genie. And have him do the genie. Yeah. That's actually pretty genius. Yeah, hey, JP, I've ever heard I'm a lot of good you. shit from you, but that's actually man, a. Man, there's always good Solid idea. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, that is not the case. And uh, besides Will Smith, I will say this. he, The actor of Aladdin looks fucking weird. It's an unknown. I think he's been in some other shit, but I don't know who he is. I don't know. Jack- I like it, though. I like the fact that they're going with like someone different, someone not known. Yeah, just they, a new guy make give him fucking famous and rich <laughs> from doing this one movie. Might as well give me that fucking money, shit. I Bro, can't you ain't no Aladdin. Sally, fabulously, Ali, that's what they said, came out with that shit. You ain't no I, Prince I Aladdin, 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 bro. <laughs> you ain't saving no princess. <laughs> well, yeah, coming from the slums though, that is you. So, hey, look, I will say this: I I will go watch it simply because Aladdin is my favorite. Of course, I'm gonna watch this shit. Disney movie. Uh, um, I don't care if he's blue, green, black. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, brown, uh, yeah, whatever. He's all colors right now. I don't care. Yeah, I'm but, gonna go watch. It. But I watch it. I watch it too. It did look kind of weird though. It, it it did look weird. So maybe they'll work on it. They still have time to work. Oh, on they it. have a lot of time. Yeah. So moving on. Also, another thing that happened. My worst nightmare came true. Uh, I grew up. Um. Uh. At, uh you know. You grew up what? And uh, Houston. My my niece. Uh. When when my sister had my niece. Mm-hmm. Uh. You know, Frozen had just came out. So, let it go, let it go. I was playing all over my fucking house every fucking goddamn day for like four fucking months. Let it go. Well, I can't let it go now because Frozen 2 is coming out. So, you know damn well some shit's about to go down, new songs. Um, let it come. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, is that <laughs> is well, that is that inappropriate? Uh, for a little kid movie. Yeah. I don't know. Like, let, right. it, let, it, let it come. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Woo! This is the content you guys are here for. Yeah. Um, anyway. No. Okay. Hey. Um. I, I want to say real quick. I haven't seen Frozen one. I, I know every seen, everybody's I, fucking seen it. I haven't seen. It. I, uh, I I would just hear the song. Seeing the trailer though, the uh, just judging the trailer, the trailer was freaking hype. Like the music, the intro, the. It's just her running to water and turning. Yeah, but then it from. gets fucking good in the middle. You know and what it reminds end. me of? Frozen from uh from fucking uh, uh the Incredible. Oh yeah yeah. Shh. Come on, man. Well, Fuck no, it man. actually got me kind of hyped. I, I think I'm going to go back and watch the first one. See what the I mean, hell. You're going to watch it because your wife's going to take see it. See all <laughs> what the hype is about. I mean, I, it's not that I hate it. I don't hate it. I just never really f- had any interest. But if, if two's coming out and the trailer's this hype, I might, you know, But go be back warned, and guys. These fucking kids are going to be singing whatever song comes out, man. Like Frozen. That, that's the thing. They need to come out with a new song. Because they can't go ahead and milk the same one and put I, it in the I second one. I they milk the same one. Nah. So they know more Nah, people. make a new one. Like, make a new song. Come on. Uh, but yeah, so that's coming out too. Also, over the week, uh, uh, I don't really know why we have this uh, as a topic. It shouldn't really matter, but El Chapo was found guilty. What do you guilty. mean? You know, that El Chapo is El Chapo, bro. Uh, people left the jury, like, 
simply because this fool was being tried. Like, people did not want to be in that jury. They gave that fool the, the, the verdict. The verdict, the fucking, uh, you know, the... Yeah, that's what it is, the verdict. Uh, okay, they gave that fool the verdict, and they wouldn't even look into that fool's face or his eyes, because they all scared. These fools might die. I wouldn't have been scared. I would have said guilty. You don't give a fuck. Wow, nah. I'm not, I'm not scared of him. Well, you don't have anything to lose. That's yeah. true. And, I mean, not, Except not your even, corgis. It's just... Mm. I'm not frightened by it. I don't give a fuck. Forward. Also, another thing that happened was the Grammys. Uh, oh yeah, let's get into the. Um, I, I no 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 no. Let's get into the here and there trash bin Nikki segment. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. So Cardi B won Rap Album of the Year. Yeah. Um. I just want to point and, out. Well, she she deserved it. Like honestly. She was up. I don't know, Travis I, Scott. I, I don't. I mean, honestly, I'm a big Cardi B fan, but Travis Scott I, had a banging I, I, ass. I feel like Travis Scott, but I look, man. Uh, the, she's the, been she's been having hits after. But hits, I'll so. tell you this: uh, uh, there's a lot more women on this earth than men, and more women listen to Cardi B. So she's gonna have more sales. She was gonna be dominant in all that those categories. Yeah, I'm not se- saying she sucks though. But sales, I'm just saying, doesn't determine the champion. Man, or the money, fucking award money talks, man. Money talks, man. But uh, I feel like. Uh, Cardi B was very popular this year. You know, all y'all thoughts were all upon that. Guess and who hasn't won a rap album? Who? Other year. Who hasn't gotten a Grammy? I don't know. Someone by the name of Nicki Minaj. Are you sure about that? Did Trash. She went with like a collaboration Trash. with Lil Wayne or something? Anytime, Trash. Can you look at that, please? Trash. <laughs> uh, but yeah, congratulations, Cardi. Uh, you're a beast. And she just came out with that new song with Bruno Mars. It's not that good. I, ha- I haven't checked it out, to be honest. Uh, it's, I'm underwhelmed. Um, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, it'll probably just be a video of me dancing naked. So, guys, um, that was for Cardi B's Grammy. Whatever. Uh, she's back with Offset, too. She was showing off her engagement ring, if I'm correct. Uh, so you yeah, it? which I think is a big mistake. She could do so much better. Nah, um, that's find funny. herself a nice. I expect that from you us. know Midwestern. Midwestern <laughs> like family values kind of guy. Does she look like Bro, she looks- Cardi deserves the world. <laughs> well, Cardi B would not be Some no damn Midwestern wife from bro. England. How many pr- is there any princes prince that are still single? Bro, she's England? ugly. Uh, moving on. She's a queen. So something else that happened, which um, yes, queen. <laughs> Oh, God. He did not just do that stupid shit. <laughs> anyway, moving forward. Uh, something that, that was also controversial in the Grammys that was pretty pretty big, controversial, um, was, was uh, Drake uh, won a Grammy for uh, God's Plan. God's Plan. And uh, he made a speech. And it wasn't... It didn't look like he had wrote it down. It was just something on the top of the head, off his head. And he was just basically saying, hey, look, man, if you don't win this, but you still have people following you, going out to your shows, uh, listening to you, knowing your songs word for word, you're winning in life. Which... He has a motherfucking point. Um, right at yeah, the, you're at making the, your paper. Yeah, you're making it's paper. Because he even gave a shout out to Travis Scott, you know, huh? for not uh, yeah, for winning. not winning album of the year, which I I feel like he should have won that one. Um, uh, I agree. I mean, come on, dude. Just just by that one song with Drake is the jumping. album overall was better than Cardi's album. Yeah, I have Cardi to had that. the one hitters, but yeah. Travis had the album. Intern over here hating. Enter over here hating on Travis Scott. And I, we're not even being fanboys of Houston. We're just saying because I, I... No, we're not being fanboys. No, we're not. We're just going based on, 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 on evidence. But anyway, um, so he came out. They cut his, his speech short and they went straight to commercials. And I, I think he was nonchalant about it. I don't think he gave a fuck. He said his point. I think that point itself... Uh, yeah, the fact that they well. cut him off just made the Grammys look even worse. Like the fact that he was saying you don't need this. This Grammy to prove anything. Yeah, and he was basically saying... And then saying, the Grammys cut him off just kind of speaks volumes that... It just makes the Grammys look worse. It doesn't make Audrey yeah. look any bad. Why do you keep saying Audrey? This is real We're on a first name kind of basis. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so that fool uh, uh, basically was also saying that he doesn't need validation from... I guess he was trying to say white people. I mean, I, I, that's where I, t- I took his quote. Is that what you got away from I mean, I mean, I guess I thought he was half white, but um, you know, he's. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. No, nah. he's half white. He's from Degrassi, bruh. <clears throat> no, I think he is half white. His, he's half his white. dad's like no, this old. Uh, 
Yeah, it's so funny. But anyway, uh, uh, so he was basically saying he doesn't need validation for, for people to like his music. But yeah, and I got to give it to Drake. Like, a lot of people hate on him. Like, they... I don't think he's the best rapper of all time or even close to being it, but I I can tell you he's a, a good artist that makes good music yeah, that has no been doubt. going on for about 10 years. And, you know, his, now, his, yeah. Yeah, his album can attest to all that shit. Um, I still feel like Tupac is still, you know what I'm saying, the best of all the best. Uh, but, you know, I got to give credit where credit is due and, and, and Drake is doing his thing. So is J. Cole. Shout out to J. Cole. Uh, I don't like the direction he's going, but I did like that song with 21 Savage. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, move on to sports. <sighs> Touchdown! <laughs> it's a home run! <laughs> go! Pass <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so a lot of things happen on uh, sports. Let's just cover the the top three things here. So number one, uh, the Denver Broncos traded for Joe Flacco. I have no idea what the fuck they're thinking. Um, I, what? You know, I, I I mean I I, I do but I do believe in a playoff Joe Flacco, but you got to get to the playoffs first because regular season Joe Flacco is not good. Uh, but who knows? Maybe a new breath of fresh air. He might improve his skills. He does got that deep ball throw that Case Keenum does not have. So, I mean, what? I, we'll see. Every year is different. I, I feel like Joe Flacco has a better arm than uh, uh, Case Keenum, and I think he's more accurate, too. I think another team is giving up on Case Keenum for the second straight year, and they're going to see, just as Denver is about to see, how many teams have that given it wasn't, up on Case it wasn't the quarterback's fault. It wasn't the Golden Boy's fault. It's the fact that you can't put a team around him. So putting Flacco in there and, again, not putting a team around, you're going to get even worse results because Case was doing all he could for that squad. So another team. All uh, he could? Throwing interceptions hey is man, all he could? Come on, man. Hey, man, put a team around him. Look, I, I, same with the look. Look at the, how it worked out for the Vikings while I laughed at their ass for not even making the playoffs with uh, and trading Keenum away. Uh, and getting that uh, loser, what's his name? Uh, Maybe they brought in Joe Flacco as a way to motivate Case Keenum. Maybe they're going to, because we don't know yet. Yeah, the sure. season, Maybe they might make it open for competition. Which I Which would be, so. I think, a great thing. Uh, I, I feel like the uh, the wide receivers of Denver uh, need an upgrade. Um, because Emmanuel Sanders is just a slot receiver and he gets injured. And Demarius Thomas was cut by the Texans. And uh, he just had an accident up in Denver. So maybe that's, uh, you know... Going into a future a bit, maybe Demarius Thomas. So what happens when you're in Houston so long, and you go back to a place like Denver, you start swerving your car, thinking it's cool, you know? Uh, what the fuck are you talking? <laughs> you know, you swing in your car. You can't do that in Colorado streets like listen, that, man. Listen to DJ. Yeah, Stu. you you go you go you go swerve and, and hurt yourself, hey, man. Y'all you gotta trip, be careful. y'all trip. Hell to the nah. Uh, but yeah, so that has uh, been uh, happening as well as Antonio Brown going to the Steelers and formally requesting a trade. Now this is pretty big because uh, outside of this, we've only heard. Um, uh, uh, you know, rumors, and but we also heard the uh, Rooney family come out and say, we want to work with Antonio Brown. Uh, we've heard the coach say we want to work with Antonio Brown. I mean, he's a big talent, a great talent, yeah. a Hall of Fame talent. Uh, you can't just let something like that easily walk away. So, of course, they're going to do whatever it takes to, you know. So, is it clear why he's unhappy? Like, why is well, he pissed? Yes, yes. So, he did come out in a series of tweets. Okay, tweets. Um, All right. And he basically said that Ben Roethlisberger has his owner's mentality that he can always throw everybody under the bus, but it has no accountability. I think that's and true. And I think that's true, too. Uh, ben uh, has gotten a lot uh, uh, away with a lot of things. A in, lot of in, things. On the field and off. He's been accused of rape. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm so, just not, he's true. I'm not The lying. guy might walk around thinking he's untouchable, shows up to camp fucking 20 pounds heavier. 20? He was 30 pounds heavier. And with doesn't give a arm, shit. After jacking off 500 fucking times, his hand was all fucked up. They had to fucking do reconstruction on his hand. That dude, that dude is one person who does not know how to, t- you know, take the blame sometimes. I uh, would be pissed too if that's my quarterback. If that's who I'm depending on. And for, he's talking crap about for my he, career. He all about the wide receivers. So Antonio Brown is pissed off, and then they're like, uh, you know, someone asked him like, well, then if you, you know, what I'm saying, if if you were making seventy million, regardless, you should have played the last game when we needed you. And he was like, look, man, I was a, I, I was nursing some um, bruises. The coach told me to sit. 
Next thing I know, he's inviting me to go out there and watch the game. Why the hell am I gonna go out there and watch the game when these motherfuckers think I quit on them? When I'm just, you know, I'm just taking care of my body. And he was like, that just made me look bad. So I mean, I get his point. I've always thought, um, uh, what's the co- the coach name for the Steelers? Um, Mike Tomlin, yeah. I always thought Mike Tomlin uh, should have never won a Super Bowl. He won with uh, Bill Cowher's team. Uh, but after that, he hasn't really done much. He's uh, he's always been to the playoffs, and he's always going to the second round and is always losing. I think um, Mike Tomlin is a good coach. I think the problem is the QB. You have a QB who's inconsistent. Well, you, you, as a head living coach. living this fucking crazy-ass life off the field, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mean, no matter how good you coach, the, the, the team depends on the QB. It runs. You run an offense through the QB. Yeah. And then they lost, you know, they've been uh, Le'Veon Bell sitting the year out. I mean, what the hell is going on with this team? Man, I feel bad for the Steelers because I think this is the first time my whole lifetime. I don't lifetime give a shit about the Steelers. That, I mean, I don't really care about the Steelers here, yeah, but the first the time in my lifetime that the Steelers have had, because they never really have drama, bro. Exactly. Good this old, is the first time I've seen Bill Cowher drama. Bill Cowher kept, he, you know, the, but, the most drama you would see was Bill Cowher crying. Yeah, man. He was crying because his daughter after he won that Super Bowl, bro. Well, you know, he, he's a crier, man. <laughs> He's an was, emotional man. I was crying too, just thinking. But uh, nah, man. I mean, if you want the Super Bowl, this team be is falling apart. Too. Uh, Le'Veon Bell is a what free agent or? Yes, and it is rumored that he's either gonna the Texans are looking into it, uh, the Jets are looking into it. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard that rumor. Yes, 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 yes. The only thing is, of course, we don't have an offensive line, so I don't think we have a chance. They just cleared up <laughs> cap space uh, by. Releasing Demarius, right? Yeah, they released but Demarius. It doesn't, take, it doesn't uh, take effect until like a month from now, I think. Yeah, so. well, I mean, the season hasn't really started, but this basically puts everything in perspective. Like, because, uh, I mean, you, people are going to want to trade for Antonio Brown. Uh, the Jets need a wide receiver. Um, there's a lot of teams that Tampa Bay needs a wide receiver. <laughs> You know they have a Tampa, shitty quarterback. Hell yeah, nah. <laughs> I mean, hey, if I was a paper Steelers, what would I do? I'd do what's beneficial for me. I'd get the most for him. And if he goes to a shitty team, because I'm not trading him in my division. You don't think he has a no trade, trade clause? Him. You don't think he has a no trade clause? No, he, he, I'm pretty sure he can waive it. He, if he has a exactly. no trade clause, he can, so, he can waive it. Exactly. So if they tell him, well, we're trading you to Tampa, he could just be like, oh, no trade clause. Okay. So he basically gets to choose what team. Uh, not really choose. I haven't heard that he has a no trade clause. I haven't heard that. But, I mean, there's a lot of teams out there that, are, that are, like I said, they need a wide receiver. Uh, they're a wide receiver away. Uh, you know, Seattle would be a good fit for him, I think, I believe, with Russell uh, uh, Wilson. Seattle, and they I don't, don't really have an a amazing wide receiver core. Um, they do got Doug Baldwin, but outside of that. It's, KC, man. I mean, oh, KC needs a wide receiver, too, to open the outside. But if he Steelers wants to win championships. Steelers are not going to do that. So KC. it's, it's going to have to be oh, the Oakland Oakland Raiders also need. Oh, my God. Stay <laughs> away from Oakland. If I was the Steelers, Oakland. I would send it to the Oakland Stay Raiders. away from Oakland. Nah, yeah. man. These guys, like, why would he want to go to Oakland when they just let go of one of their best defensive players of all time? Who? Uh, uh, fucking um, Khalil Mack? Yeah. Come on, man. Like, the, you, you, these guys are looking at teams betraying their players, and trust me, they they. they too. Yeah, yeah. So, but Amari, Amari Cooper, Cooper was yeah. not. He was inconsistent. He still is inconsistent. He was making plays with Dallas. Man, watch next year, bro. It's always I, I he love was it making when people plays say with that. Dallas. And then when like, I'm when, just saying on when the when field. coaches come to the video, I'm just they, saying from what I saw. When coaches field, come man. to the video and they start putting shit. To I'm just giving together. you facts. This shit happens. I don't. I'm want, not. I don't I'm want not shit. Hyping anybody. Moving forward from You're the NFL, something else that's important that's happening right now uh, for some of y'all, I, I really don't watch this. The NBA All Star is is happening right now. Of course, the drama with fucking um, uh, AD uh, is going on. He basically walked out of a game. Like uh, he, the Pelicans were playing against OKC, right? And he, I guess he was trying to block a shot, and he hit somebody's elbow, and he hurt his shoulder. And he was he just like fuck this and just walked right out. That's the most. Oh man, <laughs> that's he the was most injured. gay. No, he wasn't injured. It turned he wasn't injured. He just walked right out. Well, they checked. They checked their no, shit. But no, no. And check this out. Do. You're gonna go to the out. back anyway. So so AD walks out of the Pelicans uh, uh, stadium. Right. The next day they fire the general manager for the Pelicans. They fired the general manager for the Pelicans. So all yeah, this good. bullshit. They've had fucking four or five years to build a team around I, okay, Anthony I Davis. Agree. I agree. He hasn't done but shit. But if Anthony Davis doesn't want to be there, you have all these picks. Because I didn't want him to go into. I didn't want him going to the Lakers. I didn't want him going to the Lakers. I'm glad he's not going to the Lakers because I think he's going to go to Boston. But um, like the thing is that 
He's not going to the Boston. Lakers were offering so his much. Dad ain't gonna, Magic his dad Johnson gonna whoop his ass if you go to Magic Boston. Johnson was offering the two first round picks plus Kyle Kuzma they were get, uh-huh. plus his own ball. He was giving them almost half the team, bro. No. For it, and the general manager's like, team. "Fuck that!" Like, of course your ass is gonna get fired, bro. He should have taken the fucking deal. He should have taken that fucking deal, and maybe he would have been fired. But he would have dumbass, you know. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, AD Stupid is ass. gonna get traded uh, for sure, for sure over over the summer. Um, hopefully, he goes to Boston or somewhere in the East. East, um, you know, and the Lakers stay at the very bottom of the depth chart where they are now, uh, as it should be. Uh, so, yeah, that's another thing, another big news. Uh, they're tenth in the West, the Lakers, and LeBron James came back, and nothing has happened. Same, same old, same old for the Lakers over the past five Should've years. Traded for Anthony Davis. Um, yeah, well, I mean, they did try to tra- trade for Anthony Davis. Should have done it. <laughs> <laughs> you got. <laughs> they wanted to make it, dumbass. But yeah, so Could've right built now, a team around Anthony Davis. right now it looks Trash like they're two games behind out of the eight seed. And what I predicted at the very beginning of of this podcast, I did predict the Lakers would either maybe, maybe, be out of the playoffs or be the eight seed and be one and done. Maybe the GM uh, they're not being job in the developmental league. Maybe who knows? But yeah, that's what's and going develop. on. That's what's going on in the NBA right now. The All Star uh, game Golden is going State to occur. National Basketball League. Well, also, um, the, the slam dunk contest uh, is happening this year. Uh, the today. past two years have been really, really good. So, yes, I'm sorry. It's happening today. The past two years have been really, really good. So, I'm looking forward to seeing. Who's like, in it? Do you know? Man, it's a whole bunch of nobodies, to be honest with you. Right. <laughs> but, hey, you know what? That's the same thing that happened the, the, first, the, the past two years. So, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, that's it for sports, guys. Let's go ahead and move forward to our biggest, biggest, uh, I guess deal the biggest deal of the week, uh, which is in gaming. Uh, sound key. Pew 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 pew. Game over. Yes. So, uh, biggest news that came out was Nintendo Direct. Uh, I have to give it to them this time over this week. They came out with all cylinders firing. Uh, they also came. You know, they promoted that uh, Mortal Kombat 11 was going to come out. But they also came out with a special little game dear to all of our hearts. Uh, they will remake Legend of Zelda. Uh, I keep thinking it's the Wind Waker, but it's not the Wind Waker. It is um, uh, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. So uh, the first time I played Link's, uh, Link's Awakening was on Game uh, Game Boy, uh, the gray and blue one where it was just a green screen and the black. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm old. And the point is, uh, it was an amazing game. So now they're remaking it. It looks pretty good. They still have the same standard um, above look, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, I thought they were actually... Top down. Gonna, yeah, top down, top down. I thought they were going to go the other route, and I thought that would be a little bit more crazier. Like what? Like full 3D? Yeah, full 3D. Nah. I thought that, they would do that, that. That would take too much development time. But uh, I'm glad to see Link's yeah, Awakening I'm glad to see it too. Be, being remade. Um, I'm very excited for it. It looks very, very good. Uh, some people are questioning the art. Art, artistic uh, di- uh, we always do that direction true every art direction that Legend of Zelda takes we always question it Correct. and they, we have always so been now I'm wrong. just kind of like nope uh, I'm in I'm in I don't <laughs> care I mean whatever yeah. Nintendo decides or the Legend of Zelda team decides to take the Legend of Zelda franchise to I'm all, I'm and all that's pretty that. big because Legend of Zelda, they came out uh, and knocked it out of the park with Breath of the Wild. And with yep. remaking this... Exceeded uh, expectations. This just gives me hope that maybe other Legend of Zelda games that were on Game Boy and Game Boy Advance can probably be remade. Over a couple of seasons? I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, uh, we one can have hope. One yeah. can have hope. But they released some other games too. And, and Yeah, so a lot of badass announcements made, made by Nintendo. Uh, a lot of surprises. Um... A lot of people, there, there was a leak a uh, couple of days or a week like before the Direct. Some of that turned out to be true. In that leak, there was a Super Mario Maker 2, uh, which turns out to be true. Looks pretty cool. Basically, you can make your own freaking Mario levels. Wow. Um, and share them and have anybody play them. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Mario Maker, the first one, was uh, came out for Wii U and 3DS. And it did well. Uh, I mean, it did. It was one of the best sellers for Wii U, but Wii U just it's no Wii one U. bought Wii U. No one bought so, Wii U. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> opportunity. The I did. <laughs> I did uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, this uh, Mario Maker Two. I'm glad that it's not just like uh, the same first game, and they're putting it on here. They're actually adding things, making it a whole new stuff. Yeah. It looks like. Uh, oh, and you can like 
do when you were making the levels, you can very easily with a click of a, a switch change between like old school Mario. Oh, art, that's bad. Or like news. Y'all yeah, know y'all motherfucking <laughs> nerds are gonna be making fucking so like levels after levels. And in the trailer, you can see that they've added new art that from some of the newer Wii U games. Like it, so, it looks even better, like more HD. Or you could just go back to like the. 2D, oh, 2D, yeah, the old the old. Okay. So pretty cool. Um, uh, they confirmed that 3.0 is coming for Smash Brothers uh, in spring. That's where, big. Which is also the same time when Joker, the new uh, playable character, is going to be added. This um, whole Persona 5 bullshit, I have never played it. Have you played it? You're into RPGs, right? Yeah, I, I but it has to be good RPGs. I, I think you should try it out. I think you should... Tr- I wish there was a way for you. There's no no demo or anything, but I hear. I mean, it's a long RPG. You're talking like 60, 70 hours hey man. here. Hey Amen. I know. Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's what you're into. Mm-hmm. I, I think you should give Dragon it a try. Age, mm-hmm. I think you should give it a try. But yeah, uh, they also announced a DLC coming for Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, um, and then also what was the other DLC? Uh, shit, shit. Well, they announced that. The, the, they announced those new. It looks like Final Fantasy, but it's a it's a Fire Emblem. No, no, no. Um, these two new games they actually look very interesting. Yeah, they are RPGs so as well. From Platinum Games, there's a there's this new game called Alta. Yes. Uh, what's it called? It, it, I thought it was. Huh. Astral Chain. Astral Strain. Chain. Chain. Okay, that should that, that looks pretty cool. Pretty good to me. It's a action RPG, like fast. Uh, and you quick. can tell us these are the and people, you can write stuff. These are pretty the people cool. who make uh, 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 Bayonetta. Um, so me. you can tell that influence. The graphics in are good Ast- on Bayonetta. I'll give them that. But other than that, nah. yeah. So Astral Chain looks pretty cool. They also went into details on Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is one of my favorite RPGs. Uh, They've been just releasing on the 3DS for the last uh, couple of years. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Uh, so, but now finally, full blown, like on the console, on the Switch. Uh, they didn't really go too much into the mechanics. They were more into the story that you're mm-hmm. like this professor and you teach at the school that has students from three of the kingdoms, the three houses. Uh, no, you like. <laughs> You, uh, hey man, that's what's going on nowadays, man. So like you, uh, like train them, and it, it, they didn't really go too much. So I don't know if you're gonna like build a team from each region, but it, it kind of seems like they're heading into a direction where like the kingdoms going to war to each other. But I just like how they're like setting it up and building the world. I like that kind of shit. You know, you want a good story in a Fire Emblem game. Uh, of course, we talked about... Uh, oh, Treacherous 99 was a big one, too. This yeah. whole Battle Royale bullshit. Yeah, so it's a free-to-play uh, Tetris game, uh, Battle Royale, where as you're playing, uh, whenever you bi- where you do stacks, uh, you can throw pieces to another player. And if you throw pieces to another player and knock them out, where, you know, they, they go over, uh, you get, like, multipliers and stuff. So, like... It, it, it's a battling at the same time. At, That'll as be interesting. I'll be down with that. It's it's, just shows how quick and smart you can be. Yeah, that's the thing. Like when I first played it, I didn't really get the rules, so I'm just playing Tetris. But then people are putting blocks in my shit, lines, and I'm getting yeah. So it's like it's pretty cool. It's you're managing stuff, which is pretty cool, and it's free to play for anybody who has the Nintendo uh, yeah. Switch Online service. Um, which it and, it and it released right then and there. Uh, Final Fantasy IX also came out the same day. Also, I played. Uh, F- Final, was it? Uh, yeah, nine was uh, a little that. Yeah, it, it was. It wasn't it was a, all that. Um, and also, uh, there was a um, a demo for Yo- Yoshi's Woolly World, I think it's called, which I played it. It's a basic platformer, Yoshi. Uh, eh. Yoshi I I, I thought I I I let my wife play, it's trying Yoshi. to see if like, oh, it's an easy game, you know, maybe she'll like it. Even she got bored. Like that's how man it is. Mm. Um, it's really look nice. It's really polished. It's really cool music and graphics, but gameplay wise. It's just very basic. I, like once again, it is Yoshi. It's not. It's not but like, they also released um. A demo for the Meg game. It's called uh, X. Uh, no, no, no. It's called uh, Damon X Machina. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a, you're in a mech. You're fighting shit. The art direction of it is what throws me off. Like the enemies kind of blend in to the 
to the cities that you're finding it. So, but it has a lock on system to help you locate them. But, um, other than the artistic direction, the gameplay is pretty cool. Flying around in the mech is easy. Uh, it looks like there's a lot. There's going to be a lot of customization uh, that's going to be available for it, and they're also going to send out surveys to the players and ask them what okay. they think they could do better. So that sounds good. Um, pretty cool. Direct. Uh, no Animal Crossing, but you know you can't Thank have God. it. All. I think that I think they're gonna hold that hold that off for E3. I think that's gonna be the big they hold E3 it, game. Hold on to it for for dear life. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm you know I'm excited for Fire Emblem for sure. Uh, I man, I'm you know I'm a dig. And and sometimes what they've done with a lot of Fire Emblem games is uh, different storylines. Like in Resident Evil, you have one storyline and then another. Don't compare Resident Evil. Uh, so I, I am. I just did. Uh, no, so I'm that. excited uh, if they do. Guys, go buy Resident Evil 2. It's way better than Fire Emblem. Uh, I'm and excited that if, if they do uh, different storylines, you know, I'll play each, every one of them. Could be like 100 hours of content. I'm excited. Okay. Well, moving forward uh, uh, on Pop. Uh, pop. 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 Video, video games. Video games. So uh, Anthem has come out. Uh, I personally have not bought the game. Uh, I talked to a couple of people. I- I've seen Elias play a little bit. The graphics look amazing. I will give him that. Uh, but from what I have heard, it's not that great. Uh, great. Yeah, there you go. Intern. All right, this game is fucking ass. Really? Oh, my God. I thought, I, I thought no, was- that's not what I heard. That, I haven't heard that completely. Look, th- it's a light destiny. It needs more work. Whenever you're like not in your in your javelin, you're walking around like it's fucking Skyrim, and I hate Skyrim. <laughs> I hate Skyrim. I hate too. when you talk to somebody and all of a sudden you're fucking zooming into their fucking faces. <laughs> it's just so annoying. No, this game came out incomplete. You can tell, and it's it's sad. Like wh- whenever you're in your javelin, moving around, flying, it's fun. But other than that, it's a snore fest. The story is pretty interesting too. Whenever you see a cutscene. But it, like the actual in between parts where you're like uh, walking around looking for missions, whatever, that's that's boring as hell. It's tedious. It's, tedious. it's like go to this. So point, was Destiny. Talk to this person. Hey, so was Destiny. Destiny was tedious too. It's repetitive. Uh, Destiny. Destiny was fun because uh, you you did all of that with a group of people. Yeah. Like they were always there with you. And this one, it's you're by yourself. You're just like it looks like you're floating head. You're just you know just floating around. Talking to this person, then zooming in on their face, like, "Oh, hey, I need you to do this." Didn't, okay. didn't they add the the hub where everybody could join? Yeah, he was saying that, but they, they did have, at the last they minute. They have a hub. It was last minute, supposedly, and it, it it unlocks like after I think after you do the first two story missions, and then you 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 all of a sudden spawn into this hub, and it's like basically you and like maybe about four other javelins, just like jumping around but you can't really do anything you can't do you i think you can do emotes uh you can't uh like fly whatever you're just like you don't get no missions from there it's just you can out. actually you can they they put it to where you can go do everything you can do in the in the in the other place but you can do it all here it's all condensed but really it's you can tell it was just like let's just put this together put some duct tape around there and just send it out there well you mentioned it too that they're gonna come out with free dlcs and maybe it's just more ad- stuff added on to that's the what game i was telling you it. that the free dlc i think it's not free dlc it, it's it's the rest of the game that they haven't completed <laughs> honestly honestly because this game i feel it was probably rushed like there's no mm-hmm. pvp um loading times are fucking long yeah there's loading screens on the, the loading time. screens are super long i thought they long. said they were going to take missions. that no. in, in between, between missions, missions there's loading screens um yeah the game i mean as far as like fucking actually fucking bioware as far as far as actually playing the game it's fun it's smooth when you're in the javelin when you're in the javelin you're flying around it's great but whenever you're out of it oh my god fucking no no scare him all I remember is watching Lowe's while I was getting high. And then some little fucking skeleton would come out and he'd have a little sword. <laughs> oh, good old Skyrim. I can't kill him. I can't kill him. Oblivion. Oblivion. Oblivion still in my top five of video games of all time. Crappy game. Another, another game that came out um, <laughs> too is Crackdown. And Crackdown has been hit so hard by bad reviews. I, I've seen them 5.5. 5, it's five. bad. And they hyped that shit up. Well, what else are they going to do? It's I like mean, they're one exclusive of the year. They, I mean, from what, from what, because I'm not a crackdown person. I don't really play the game. I'm a crack person. I, I just saw the reviews. And <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you look like a crack person. You're not. 
Uh, but you even have the jacket that that uh, yeah. that Dave Chappelle used. <laughs> Except it's not red. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, it's you got to put a picture of Dave Chappelle with that. With that. Anyway, one. moving forward. Uh, so a lot of people have been hitting hard at it, uh, talking about that it's not that great, that it was overrated, not even worth a buy. Uh, so I feel sorry for the people that made Crackdown 3. They put a lot of effort into it, but it just didn't It just. Didn't I mean, it, it's, it's been in development hell, like development issues throughout its whole time, delayed. Uh, just it, it, the whole development seems like it was in turmoil. I'm surprised they didn't cancel the game. I think they even they were considering they rushed it, it too, man. They were trying to get it out of the way. No, this is as best as it was gonna get. I don't I don't think any more time would have helped the game. Um, like I said, I mean, I think they were on the verge of canceling it, but they had a. I mean, they canceled uh the other platinum game, the dragon game, Dragon Age. Uh, no. Scalebound, which oh, was... Oh, yeah. Which I was hyped for. Oh, I was man. Super hyped Scalebound. For I mean, I was like, the idea of it was badass. Like, I was gonna okay. name Dragon Bebop, you know? It looks so I'm badass. I can't believe they canceled that game. Like, they should have fucking canceled this one, cracked down, and fucking put out uh, Scalebound. But whatever. Um... At least it's out. I'm glad that we can finally move past Crackdown 3. <laughs> this is shit that uh, Phil Spencer... Now, what's coming out now... Crackdown 3 was something that was promised from the very beginning. Non-Phil Spencer time. Now, we're all Phil Spencer decisions coming up. So, I've, I'm very excited for Xbox. Because I feel like now they they could get that old shit out of the way. All the development issues. All the, the head of Xbox before was in charge of. And finally, we can move on to the real Finn Spencer hey, era the, of Xbox. The head so. of Xbox, wasn't it that chick? No, no it, was it was some other guy. Oh, who's okay. like focused he, he on was, fucking? He was a moron who fucking put the DRMs in Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, and who was fucking worried about uh fucking sports and movies and streaming on the <laughs> Xbox? Which don't get me wrong, everybody does it, but no one buys a fucking Xbox to do that. Every 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 system. There's does so that. many shit that does that. You yeah. don't need an Xbox. Uh, essentially, your phone do does that. that. Okay, every year, every century, there's always going to be a game that knocks out the other one. It's just the way of the world. Mm-hmm, um, true. So, I mean, it is what it is. Now, another thing that came out uh, was the DLCs for uh, Resident Evil. Have you played them? Uh, um, no, I have not played ah. them. I've only played a little bit. It's the ghost, so ghost, it's ghost Survivors, right? Yeah. It's basically you have a certain amount of ammo, and you go running around, and you kill zombies because you're trying to get to a, to, to a, this, a point, right? And some zombies have, like, these... Uh, backpacks and if you kill them you get the ammo in the backpack oh, and you okay, but cool. you only have a limited amp you only have a limited amount of, of space yeah so you have to like no select and, what you yeah. want to take so and, i've uh, seen a couple of players is there cutscenes uh no cutscenes no cutscenes no story mode no cutscenes it just lets you know exactly what they do oh okay um it has like a little small cutscene but there's no talking so no you know no, how, no kendo cutscene yes well okay it's not a cutscene per se you remember in old resident evil when you beat the game and it would be like black and white and they would show photos and then it would tell you at the bottom mm-hmm. what's going on yeah well it's exactly like that but nothing telling you at the bottom uh, so like the fallen soldier one like at the end uh ada wong is like Grabs the serum. That's how she gets the serum. Or, or like, um, and for, it's, it's just play it. Um, it's entertaining. It's fun. Yeah, it's more uh, Resident Evil too. I mean, what else yeah. could you ask for? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm still like with the story. I'm still with Claire and, and Leon. Yeah, you're gonna help me uh, finish Claire uh, B today. Oh shit. Um, uh, I'm gonna get blowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play some Resident Evil too. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna collect more glittering Pokemon though. <laughs> Something Lowe's never has done in five years. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, glittering Pokemon. Or was it? What was it? Oh my God! Shiny Pokemon. Yeah, shiny Pokemon. I got a shiny. I got. I got. <laughs> I got a shiny. So, no, so I've been playing Pokemon for years, and I don't know if you guys know this, but a shiny Pokemon is like a super rare Pokemon you encounter ever so often, maybe after hundreds of hours of playing Pokemon. And I was, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't caught a shiny Pokemon in the fucking longest. You've been so. playing for like five years, right? Yeah, longer. <laughs> my whole Pokemon career in life. And this fucker gets a Pokemon game. Like, he, he starts a couple of hours in. It was like two hours, and I got it. And he gets a fucking shiny. That just to show you who the real gamer is, you know what I mean? But anyways, moving forward, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe down below. Tap that bell. Guys, What you guys never comment. We see y'all view. If y'all have anything you guys want to say, ask, whatever, shit talk. 
let us know in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer any questions, talk shit right back to you. And remember, you can always find us on YouTube, uh, the Three Way Podcast, on uh, Apple, uh, Spotify, Spotify. Uh, um, uh, what's, what's that? All your podcast streaming Is it services. Called Hammer? Is it called Hammer? Enter. Anchor. 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 Uh, you can find us yeah, on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Twitch dot tv slash the three-way podcast for all our live streams uh thank you guys we love you peace